Hey guys, welcome to Tech Over Clock. My name is Sergio and I'm gonna be the host of this video. Guys, today I want to share what I did wrong building my computer, Snow White. Yes, um, it looks beautiful, it looks perfect, but doing custom water cooling can be a pain on the butt. And I want you to take in consideration what I did wrong so you don't do what I did. Now, one of the first things that I did, guys, well, I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. I painted my radiators and it's OK if you paint your radiators, it's all right, but only paint the outside. The problem comes when you paint the fins of the radiator. And why is that? Well, these radiators are designed to dissipate the heat. See, the water comes in hot and the fans push the you know the fresh air and it push it out and these fins are supposed to help it dissipate the heat away from the radiator to cool it down a little bit okay and it comes out cooler on this side so what I did wrong and I please don't want you to do that I painted the fins I just went ham on it and they look beautiful, they look amazing, I love how they look, but my performance, my temperatures, I have compared other friends' temperatures with mine, and I am I am an average of 10, between 5 and 10 Celsius higher than what I'm supposed to be. And that really sucks because putting in so much work, so much money to mess up like that is kind of a bummer. So don't do what I did. If you're gonna paint your radiators, only paint the outside. Don't touch the fins. And if you really want all white radiators with the painted fins, then you can get the Black Eyes Advanced Radiator. I'm, I'm reading the title here. Nemesis 360 GTS. Now I got a 360 millimeter radiator guys and I have a 240 and a 120 to replace the ones that I have in there since well I have to fix them or just simply collect them because I want true performance. Now these radiators here guys the thickness of the fins are the same. You can see these radiators one looks thicker than the other okay but in true reality guys this one has a thicker bezel this thing is thicker and this one is not that thick but the thickness of the fins is what matters so these ones here guys are all white I have read some reviews of these radiators and they seem to be amazing so the, the build quality looks fantastic so guys if you want true white radiators or whatever color that you want I think they got black they got red I think they got blue I think they got yellow I think I'm not sure I think I've seen it and they got all white so don't do what I did don't do the mistake that I did another huge mistake that I did I wanted like I said I wanted to have matching you know fittings color radiators the cooling I wanted it all to be white so this right here it's a barf fitting okay there's there's compression fittings and there are barf fittings and there's nothing wrong with barf fittings you just have to put a ring around the thing to secure like a clamp or something to uh, make sure that the hose is not going to leak. Uh, one mistake that I did, and I can see it on my fingers again already, you're supposed to only tighten this up with your hands to the radiator. You know, go with your hand as, you know, as much as you can, and that's it. What I didn't know, I grabbed a wrench and I did one more by hand. Just half a turn. Click. That was nice and firm. My mistake by doing that. These fittings right here, they are painted. This is paint and it comes off. Somehow the paint, the little chips on paint, ended up all over my loop. It was on the hoses, it was on the radiators, it was on the blocks, the CPU water block. I don't know if you guys remember a block that I did about three months ago. I'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description. And what I did, what happened is, I fill up the water block with this paint. I mean, it, it had chips of paint everywhere. And man, I got so mad. I'm like, how did this paint get inside? And well, I guess from touching it, like I'm touching it right now, uh, period guys, period. Don't buy painted 
feelings. Don't. Because even right now, this is a new feeling, okay? But it's the wrong size that I ordered. Even right now, me only touching it, just doing this by hand, the paint is chipping off. So when you're grabbing the hoses, you know, the the, the cooling hoses, any feelings, the stuff is already getting, and I'm already seeing stuff inside of the barf feeding. There's white stuff in here already. It's already on my fingers and stuff. And that is going to end up inside your loop. So don't get painted feelings. Get chrome. What I ended up doing on my build, guys, is I had to replace all of these feelings. And I was going to get the same ones because, you know, bar feelings are really easy to use. And I was going to get the same ones, but I, but I was going to get chrome. And I decided, you know what, I want to step it up. I want a better look. So I got the compression feelings. So the problem was that I was having high temperatures. <laughs> more that my radiators are painted it wasn't really helping the situation and the chipping paint was all over the CPU water block I'm gonna leave the link to that uh, blog video blog that I did explaining that so that's another mistake that I did and you really don't want to do it don't get painted feelings don't get chrome now I'm not saying all of the feelings are like this probably you like red or something but make sure guys that if you start touching the, the feelings and if you start seeing particles in your fingers just be very careful because they will end up inside your loop another thing that I did wrong these fans are the high performance from EK Bardar and whatnot they are supposed to be 2200 RPM and yaddy 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 well guys these fans are okay they perform very well but having six fans in your case it's loud let's have a listen i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the computer all right well these fans are loud they're supposed to be i don't know if they're supposed to be quiet let me see here does it say if they're supposed to be quiet f4 120er 2200 rpm white high static pressure 120 millimeter cooling fan it doesn't say anything about being quiet it says right here loudness 33.5 dBA these fans right here guys they're recommended what I really like of them it's that you know they got the white sleeving the nylon sleeving they're completely all white but here is the problem here's where the problem begins if you are a regular user you probably won't mind the noise or probably you will uh, I didn't thought of that when I was building the computer because I edit, well, used to edit on an iMac, now I edit on another Windows computer. And I was going to use these fans for that radiator because I was going to sell that computer. If you're a YouTuber, if you're building your first computer and you're thinking of doing water cooling, everybody's going to tell you, go get the EK Bardars. Everyone's going to tell you, go get the Nuketua fans. I got a couple of Nuketua fans in there and they are not as quiet as people swear by. Now, the fans of the NHD15 from Nuketua, those are quiet. Those fans are quiet. I am not really a Nuketua fan guy, but there's some people that say that there's some, they got a quiet edition. But some of the fans that I have tested, they're loud as hell as well. So, you know, a lot of people swear by these fans, and these fans are good. And I love the performance of these fans and they're fast and they are, you know, they really cool down. Even having my, my radiator fins painted, they get the job done. But in my case, 
if I want to edit a video, like right now I'm going to have to get the RAM from this computer and I'm going to I mean, have to take it to the other computer because I'm going to have to do voiceover probably because I can't use that computer for editing. It's just too loud. I can't use it for voiceovers or nothing like that. I can record my audio on another computer, but if I have the microphone close by, like I, like I got right here, it picks up the fans. And more if you're doing like a heavy tasking, like doing a video edit on a Premiere Pro, the fans seem to kick in when you're using the CPU. They just start going and you can hear the fans. Now, if you are not a, a, a YouTuber, if you don't do YouTube videos or nothing like that, then probably you won't mind having these fans. But if you're a YouTuber like me, man, these fans become a freaking nightmare. And I remember when I used to have the Corsair SP120, the silent edition, those fans operate very quiet. I have like 10 of those fans in here and I have been thinking of getting these fans and putting them in here. Probably I am going to do that whenever I get my other radiators in there because I truly don't want a loud computer. I don't. I do live streaming on my gaming channel. I do uh, commentaries, live gameplays and stuff. And having the loud fans is just absolutely horrendous. It's just not great. These are the Corsair SP120s, the silent edition. Uh, if you ask yourself, yes, I paint them. But you might say on the comment section down below right now. Well, what makes the noise is the air being moved through the fins. Yes, that's what makes the sound. The sound that the air creates like this. That is creating a sound. Now imagine all these blades right next to the fins, it creates that thin sound that the fans are making. But even though guys, even though I have tested it already, these fans and these fans, these fans operate much, much more quiet. And the results, it's about to be tested. So stay tuned for that video. I might do it or not. So guys, this is it for this video. These are some of the mistakes that I did. And there's a few others, little mistakes here and there that I forgot about. But the main ones was painting the fins of my radiator, getting the wrong fans, and getting the wrong feelings. Guys, stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to hit the like down below. Stay subscribed. I love you guys. Don't buy these fans. They are too loud. Unless you don't mind. They're beast of fans.